Hello, Kelo Oriem is the Ugandan State Minister for Foreign Affairs. Joins us on the line now from Kampala. Good to have you with us. This report from what uh, we've gathered, what's been uh, leaked out, says that the United Nations uh, is accusing Uganda of sending troops to reinforce M23 rebels in the DRC on specific missions. Your response to that, please. My response is very clear. Well, first of all, the, the fact that the report is leaked indicates that the report is in bad faith. Secondly, I can only say that the allegations of the report are rubbish and absurd. The government of Uganda in no way and no, under no circumstances have sent troops, ammunition, or any sort of assistance to the M23 or ne any negative force for that region, that region in, the, in the eastern DRC. To the contrary, President Yoweri Museveni, as chair of the Tanaj Conference with this region, has in the last few months managed to have the fighting in eastern DRC uh, bring, it to, uh, to, uh, as, uh, bring it to a lull. The fighting has, has more or less stopped. There's some sense of, uh, of peace. Uh, the the uh, refugee crisis, as though it, it's still, even though it's still bad, but we have managed to stem it from becoming worse. We have put down in place uh, a verification mechanism to ensure that there are no movements of, of troops or equipment. Okay, to, so to, but to allow, me to, 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 allow me to jump in here. You've just said that uh, the president of Uganda um, and the Ugandan government is not in any way giving any support to the rebels. Uganda does allow no, the no, M23's no, political branch to operate in Kampala. Isn't that a form of support, sir? That, 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 that is rubbish. That is rubbish. The fact is, the fact is that we have made it very clear to the, Congo, to the DRC leadership. It's not a secret uh, to, the, to the DRC leadership. And it's not a secret to those who are involved in leadership of the international conference with the region, the head of states, that the government of Uganda is, has brought the representative of the M23 together with the representative of the DRC in Kampala to start mediation and talks between the two uh, 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 people so that they, 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 we start the beginning uh, leading to peace in the region. It's not a secret. How, how do you uh, counter the claims by this report? The, DRC, the group the of experts of the say is, is aware they of have this. evidence, they name names in some cases, at least in Rwanda, or, and they do mention Uganda is even arming the M23 rebels. They say you're where in violation is, of the arms this, embargo. This, this is the absurdity. This is the absurdity leading almost obscenity by this report. It is absolutely lies without any evidence. We have done much better. We have brought a lull to the, the peace in the situation. We have put on the ground a joint verification mechanism. We're in the process of putting 4,000 troops on the ground to pacify that situation. These are the positive things that the UN should be reporting. Well, what, what, what motive does what, the what UN group of here? experts me, have to make up here. allegations well, that, as you here? describe them, are rubbish, sir? Why rubbish. do you think the UN is, is making rubbish allegations against your government? They're making, they're, they're making these rubbish allegations because on the ground in the eastern DRC, there is the biggest number of UN peacekeeping operations in the whole world, with the largest budget in the whole world in the eastern DRC, and they have failed to do anything for the last almost five, ten years. They have failed to do anything. Now, their shortcomings, they are blaming on Uganda and Rwanda. They should get on with the job of, of, of what they are there to do in eastern DRC instead of blaming to others. Right, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks so much. The State Minister for Foreign Affairs of Uganda there.